here by the barn making sure your girlfriend's protected? Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a very good boy. Yes, he's a very good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy, yeah. We have this little zip line made here that we use to tie dogs up back here sometimes. So they still have lots of room to kind of move around and all that, but they are safely secured away. We have to separate our male dog from our neutered golden retriever because they just do not get along anymore at all so we don't take any chances good morning followers of burnt river ranch so today i'm going to be doing a video um an update on nora nora is our female sharp planets livestock guardian dog and i have news for you not the kind of news you're expecting, no puppies yet, um, different news. So actually on Saturday morning, I came out to do chores early in the morning and I couldn't find Nora. So that's always worrisome. And then as I was feeding the pigs, I noticed that there was a lot of blood all over the ground. So missing dog, a lot of blood on the ground, things aren't looking good. So after I did some investigation, I think what I figured was all the signs kind of pointed to a bear was here and Nora, she likes to sleep out here by the pigs. That's where she's always slept all winter long. She must have been out here and she saw the bear come up. He was, it's spring here. He was probably looking for a quick, easy snack. There's lots of delicious smells up here. Pigs, piglets, grain, all that. So. He probably came up here trying to look for an easy meal and she said to heck with that and she put him in her in his place or her place and there was a little bit of blood on rune as well so you could tell that he came here for backup um yeah but unfortunately nora she put her life on the line to protect our livestock, which is exactly what she's been bred to do. It's exactly what she's supposed to do. However, she ended up getting a really bad injury on her back leg. She, he must have swiped at her or bit her and ripped off a lot of skin on the back leg and um, actually cut open her artery, one of her main arteries. So luckily when I came out and did chores, it must have just happened just before I came out, which is also kind of scary to come out and do chores and know that there's been a bear here just recently. Um, but anyways, I found her and I looked at her leg. I could see the blood everywhere and I could just see her artery just pulsing. Blood, boom, 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 coming out of it. So, you know, that makes your adrenaline start going. So I immediately ran and got my first aid kit wrapped it in cotton, wrapped it in vet wrap really tight, as tight as I could to get this the bleeding stopped. Um, of course, these kind of things always seem to happen on the weekend when the vet clinics are usually closed. <laughs> so our main vet wasn't open and I called a few other ones and they weren't open and then a couple of them just didn't answer. And I finally got through to one in the closest town to us. So I had to drive her about an hour in, load up the kids real quick, drive her an hour in and the bleeding stopped while I was in the car thank god as soon as we got in the vet clinic and admitted to a room it started oozing out of the bandage really profusely so I you know ushered the vet text okay let's go let's get this dealt with um I was able to wrap her leg myself again to, uh, to get it to stop bleeding Nora's a livestock guardian dog she's not amazing with strangers she's usually better in a setting that's not her territory, so she's usually better like in a vet clinic, but still, she's in a stressful situation. She's in pain, so it was better, just better if I did it. Anyways, we got it all wrapped. Um, she went in for emergency surgery. They had to do some pretty challenging digging around to find the source of the bleeding of that artery. They were able to get it closed up, 
Um, obviously, one of the big challenges of doing emergency surgery on a pregnant dog is you don't want them under anesthetic for any longer than necessary. The drugs can be harmful to the puppies. The lowered respiration rate, the lower heart rate um, can also be problematic for a pregnant dog for her puppies as they're not getting enough oxygen. So thankfully the vet was very understanding of that and he tried to do things as quickly as possible. He ended up putting just a bunch of staples in and getting the wound closed up as soon as possible and doing all that just as quickly as he could. So we put the bandage on and got her home and she's doing really good. This is day three and I'm actually going to load her up again this morning and take her in for a checkup, get her bandage taken off her leg and see how everything's healing up. The staples will probably be staying in for another week or so before they take him out and she also got some staples on her front paw but that wound was definitely not as extensive as the back leg but we're very thankful that Nora is okay and I think her puppies will be okay but unfortunately we won't really know until they're born but I can still see them uh, moving around in her belly and I can feel them bumping around in there so that is a good sign. Another thing they were worried about was because of the depth of the injury on her leg they were nervous that some of the nerves might have gotten severed as well so they were worried about nerve damage and worried that she was going to limp on that leg for the rest of her life but uh, one of the greatest signs is that she's putting weight on that leg and walking on it so that's a great sign that if there is any nerve damage it's very minimal so that's great but anyways we're going to take her in and get her checked out and make sure that she's all good I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. So, Nora's due to have puppies in less than 10 days. So, this is quite the ordeal for her to go through that close to giving birth. But, thankfully, I found her as quickly as I did. And I was able to get her into the vet. And things are looking up. So, right now, Nora's been living in the barn for the past few days. Taking it easy. Getting lots of rest. I do let her out multiple times a day in our alleyway slash chute area, kind of where we load and unload pigs into the barn. So she gets to come out and walk around. As you can see, she's, she's walking pretty good. That's her leg that's hurt. We have it wrapped in a little plastic bag so that it doesn't get all wet. Good girl, Nora. Good girl, Nora. She hates wearing this cone, of course. It's terrible but it keeps her from licking her wounds and taking her bandages off. All right, well, I'm gonna go finish up chores, finish feeding these pigs before I head off to town. And I'll give you guys an update when I get back. I gotta tell you guys about some of the Facebook comments that I got in regards to Nora. So I'm part of the one of the Sharplaninats dog pages. And most of the comments were super understanding because obviously if you're involved in that breed at all, you kind of know that they are bred to be a livestock guardian dog, obviously. Um, but there's always the odd few that have something to say. <laughs> One of the comments I got was that she deserves a better home and shame on me for being irresponsible and neglecting my dog and putting her in harm's way. Someone even reported the post for bear bathing of all things. Like, yes, I'm going to throw my thousands of dollar dog in harm's way to bait a bear. Why would I do that? She's essential to keeping my livestock safe, which is exactly what she's bred for, and she's doing her job. If I didn't allow her to do her job, she would be so miserable. That is what she's bred to do, and she loves doing it, and clearly, she does a good job at it. It's unfortunate that she got hurt, yes, um, but it's something that kind of happens sometimes, and I just spent thousands of dollars on her vet bills, to make sure that she's okay. So, I'd say she has a pretty good home. I 
All right, I'm gonna give an update on Nora before I get busy. I've got sows in the barn and one of them is going to Pharaoh here any minute. So I took her to the vet today, like I said I was going to do. They took her bandages off. Um, they checked over her wound and everything looks really good. It's healing up really well. Um, no major swelling, no signs of infection. She's still getting her antibiotics twice a day. And yeah, she's doing really good. So we're very hopeful that things are going to look up from here. So the farrowing crate doubles as a really nice dry spot to keep a dog in the barn. She can't really get out of here because of her cone. So, anyways, I'm going to be giving her her medicine hidden in a piece of cheese. Very easy. Oh, then. Good girl. Good girl, Nora.